I have got a money question for you, and it's due to inflation. Would you rather have 25 Canadian dollars, here it is, there you go, or would you like to have this $5 silver coin, which spot price is 100% silver, is worth about $23.84, it's just shy of $24. What do you want, $25 or $24? Careful, what you answer will give you the results of more or less coffee crisps. Okay, let's go back. In 1968, the spot price for silver was about $2.90 for this guy. All right. And in 1968, $25 was $25. And the price of this coffee crisp was 15 cents. So how many coffee crisps could $25 buy you in 1968? 166. How much could this coin cost you or buy you in 1968? And the answer is 19. Now, let's fast forward to the year I'm filming this in 2020. How many chocolate bars could $25 could you buy? And this price right now of the chocolate bar is about buck twenty-five. The answer is 20. Now, how many chocolate bars could this silver coin give you? The answer is 19. So, sounds like 25 is still better than this, right? Well, let's fast forward 10 years. It is 2032. And we are going to figure out uh, the chocolate bar went up in price. Eh, it's about a buck ninety. So I'm just taking a linear kind of inflation rate. And this is still twenty five dollars, but this probably has gone up a little bit based on history from 1968 being two dollars and ninety, 2022 being twenty three dollars, and ten years 2032 20, probably going to be about thirty six dollars. So how many coffee crisps could you buy with twenty five dollars? The answer is thirteen. How many coffee crisps could you buy with the silver coin? The answer is 19. Did you get that? With this silver coin, you can buy 19 chocolate bars in 1968. With this silver coin, you can buy 19 chocolate bars today in 2020. And again, with this silver coin, you can buy 19 chocolate bars 10 years from now. So which would you rather have, $25 or this silver coin?